all right guys so now we are in Sibelius 7 I believe my version is right now um, today I'm going to talk about the latency um, if you are using the MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller and then you're trying to input these notes to the score and what happens is if you are trying to input this in a live tempo here if you press record here and then you'll be able to play along with the song and then of course you expect the tempo to be synchronized with the notes that you are playing and in my situation it is not what I expected because there is latency so let's try that you see the notes are not perfectly synchronized now we have to try to find a solution now we erase this one because we don't need this anymore um, first you go to the configuration setup this is a small arrow in a corner you go here and you go to audio engine options now you can see here an interface I'm using right now primary sound driver which is okay but not great so just minutes ago I installed ASIO for all driver and this one you can find online uh, easily you know this is for free you can download it for free once you install it it will appear here on your screen inside interface right so now I choose this one and it appears here that it changed to Azure for all driver for Sibelius now I want to change this well theoretically you can go as low as possible I will try uh, let's say two five six samples and it should be good enough you can also change to 48,000 hertz or 48 kilohertz let's say but I would like to stay here 44 and that's uh, probably good enough I think close this and close this let's try again That sounds pretty good, right? Even sometimes I try to anticipate because I know it was before late, so I try to play earlier and then you hear in the sound that the piano sound sort of earlier in the beginning. Let's try one more time. So you see that's perfectly lined up together. So that's it for today.